I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. So we're about between two, two and a half hours into the hike, so maybe five to six miles, and I found a potential water source. Uh, fortunately, <laughs> I brought enough water to where I, I don't really need to, uh, to try and use it. So this area that I'm at right now is what's known as Bob's Lakes. And as you can see, there 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 aren't any lakes. Um, they're they're always dry, uh, for the most part, I think. So right now, I've lost the trail, and I'm trying to find some markers. It's been incredibly well marked up until now. I think um, I see something that looks like a little bridge over there, and I know I have to cross Bob's Lake. So I'm gonna go look for some markers in that direction. I headed out in the other direction actually because. There was a pretty well laid path, um, but no marker. So uh, right now, that's what I'm trying to do is find a marker. I don't know if you can see it, but that's a coyote running away. He's stopping back to look at me. He was a lot closer. It took me a while to get my phone out. I was going up the side of the hill. I've seen tons of coyote scat since I've been on the trail. Speaking of which, I found the trail again. So it turns out the marker that I had been looking for had been knocked down or fallen down and was just on the ground. So it wasn't visible. And I knew I was going in the wrong direction because the, the markers had just been too frequent. So I, I doubled back, found the down marker, reposted it. So hopefully nobody else has that problem. And I'm about to cross Bob's Lakes and uh, head up somewhere over in that area. I don't know exactly where the trail leads to, but I, I do know the coyotes over there. <laughs> the coyotes over there, so we'll uh, we'll see if we can't learn to share. So this is the other side of Bob's Lakes, and not quite sure, there's no real trail so to speak, I think it's right there. Um, I don't think a lot of people take this trail so it's kind of, kind of uh, hard to see right now, but I'll head up in that direction, hopefully I'll see another marker if not. I'll come back down and look around some more. So I finally found my way across Bob's Lakes, which are mostly dry. And I've come from over that side. Now I'm on this side. <clears throat> and there was one area way down there. It looks like there's still some water. But uh, if you wanted to get it, you're going to have to go like another mile and a half, two miles. So. Don't know about that. So we left the Bob's Lake area and it looks like we're back to shrubs and grass. So this is my campsite. 
And there's Privy over there. Door doesn't close all the way though. <laughs> you can pull it too, but it won't, won't actually shut. But yeah, I'm the only, only person here. Not, not too, uh, not too bad of a place to hang out. It's my crib. That's where I had dinner. There's my bear bag. And that's Pacific Lake back over there. So I've already heard some owls, like hooting. So it should be interesting. If it gets too bad, I have earplugs, so I'm not, nah, not really worried about it, but we'll see. It might be cool. Just listen to it for a while. So this is Pacific Lake. So it's morning time, it's about 8 o'clock, sun's coming up, it got really cold last night, I don't know if you can see but it has some like literally like chunks of water or chunks of ice in my water and this one was like just really frozen, I had to like break it to the outer shell, it like frozen over to an outer shell, so uh, luckily I had a good sleep system and I didn't get too cold but man anyway I'm gonna have some breakfast now <laughs> head on out